In today's video, I will teach you how to create custom frames for Canva using a very cool technique. Let me begin by saying that this video is aimed at designers who normally use Adobe Illustrator, but have started using Canva as part of their workflow, either to design templates or social media content. Firstly, let's begin by hopping into Canva and to see what frames are and how we can use them. Okay, so the first step would be to click on the Elements tab on the left hand side and search for frames. Click on the first option and select the frame of your choice. As you can see, I selected the circle. Once that is complete, go to the Photos tab on the left hand side and search for any image. And once you have found your image, click and place it on the artboard. Also you can double click the image within the frame to have access to the controls. Okay so at this point we can agree that frames in Canva are very useful and can add a different dynamic to our designs. But let's hop into Adobe Illustrator and create a frame. In Illustrator you will need two files, a vector shape and an image. A JPEG or PNG will be fine. When you have both these files, please click and drag the image behind the vector shape. Select both of them and create the clipping mask. Go to Object, Clipping Mask and Make. When that is done, click on the design and go to File, Export Selection. Ensure that you have the Assets tab selected, then go ahead and name your file. Select PDF from the drop down menu and lastly click Export Asset. The previous step in Illustrator is a very important part of the process. Clipping an image inside the vector shape is an essential step in creating a frame that works properly in Canva. Also it is important for me to mention that I tried different things before getting this to work. I saved and exported my designs in SVG and PDF formats, but I was missing the most essential part, which is placing an image inside the vector shape. As you will see in the next step, we won't be using the image, but it will assist us in achieving the result that we want. Now let's jump back into Canva and import the frame that we created and let's see if it works. Once back in Canva, create a new design and import the file. Please note that the PDF file cannot be uploaded into the media folder as we would do for other files like images, video and audio. When the file is imported, please click to open it. When the file loads, click on the design and hit the delete key on your keyboard to reveal the awesome custom frame. Resize it, add an image to test if the frame works. Also add a background color for more effect. And just like that, we've successfully created our own custom frame. 